All right, guys, so I am now working on the mount for my underwater camera housing so that I can attach the camera to the housing and so that it won't rattle around. So I've got a few things here that uh, I think it'll work and let me show you what I'm doing. All right, so my thought on making mount for this <clears throat> I'm simply taking some half inch copper and what I did is I just took a pipe cutter cut two pieces I measured out what I think what I thought I would need which is gonna be a one piece it's gonna go in here where this is where I will I'm gonna drill a hole and put a mount screw for my camera and then I took another piece and I just bent it so that it would settle this one like that. So when I put this into this bucket, it's going to have three points to stabilize it. Then what I'll do is I'll take I'll take a suction cup and fit it in there. Put this together. I'll glue that in. Alright, so that's pretty much what it's going to look like. I'm going to fill this up with lead and then we'll go from there. Alright, so I got this little, little pot with lead weights in there. I'm going to melt them down. <clears throat> so I just throw that on the grill. So, so far you guys have seen the basic way I've put this thing together. Uh, we're going to skip ahead a little bit because I've actually went ahead and assembled it, used it to make that underwater video that you guys have seen already. So I'm going to show you the finished product and this is what we've come out with. I went ahead and painted it all black just to keep the, the copper from turning green. But I, went ahead, I added an, a second screw here just to give this a little bit more stability and I also added this screw with a couple of washers underneath it so that when my when I put the thumb screw through this hole 
my camera sits flat on top on the top of these two screws like that. Then I went ahead and I went ahead and added the suction cups in there. I had overfilled it with lead, but I took the a drill bit and drilled it out, put a little bit of glue, stuck the suction cups in there and crimped them down. And this is what we've come up with. So let's go ahead and go inside and have a look and see how it works with the contraption that I made. Alright, so I've mounted it in there. I didn't close this so you can get the audio, but if you can see how the camera's mounted in there. It's just stuck, one, is, one suction cup is on the side of the jar, and then two on the bottom side. And then the thumb screw is holding the camera in place, so if I was to tip it sideways, it stays and it doesn't fall over. And that's how I made my little mount for my underwater camera housing. Alright guys, so thanks for taking time to watch my little video on how I made the uh, holder for my camera. So I've been asked to make a couple of videos and I haven't had time but now I'll be having a little more time here, here that winter is coming in. I'll be making a, a video of my boat. A viewer asked me uh, what kind of boat that I use, you know, and I'll show you guys the boat that I use and the modifications that I've done to it. Also the different kinds of fishing rods that I use. Uh, that'll be a separate video and uh, explain to you why I have the different rods and stuff that I have. And uh, I'll show you some different ways of rigging and also uh, further down the line, I'll show you something pretty cool called uh, uh, It's just a modification on a, on a uh, trot line, which I think you guys are really gonna like so Once again, thank you for watching Muddy River Catfishing and as always be safe on the water. We'll see you next time